So we're playing the video from this much simplified flow graph. I've, I've disabled all of this computation and I'm simply bringing the samples out of the file source, converting them appropriately, and sending them to the Blade RF. And I can do that because I've pre-computed the samples using the rest of the flow graph to write to a file. This HTOP screen here shows that with the flow graph I'm using four CPUs and about a third of the time, third, a third loaded, a little bit less than that, which is uh, kind of marginal. I've also been able to play this file full of samples back using a command line utility that comes with the Blade RF called Blade RF CLI, which can play back a sample of files, and it loads only one CPU, about a third, so that's a lot more margin. And it works fine, it makes the same kind of uh, spectrum, and it's demodulated by the receiver just fine, so I don't think there's any real loss. The only problem is that you can only send uh, pre-recorded material this way. But the big advantage is that it allows us to use a Raspberry Pi 4. Correct. Instead of this much larger box that may be more uh, vulnerable to temperature excursions in the, in the room where it's stored.